What strikes me about Lucy's work is that uh, she responds to the challenges of a complex world and a complex future by exploring and probing it through a variety of tools. Science, art, biotech, technology, science, fiction. And, uh, and then she brings it back. She focuses on one specific element, which is the interface between technology and the human body and how the first will change the second, because certainly it will. And the interesting aspect about uh, Lucy is that she is a special kind of uh, storyteller, one that probes hypothetical futures in order to help us prepare for the real futures to come. I'm very interested in human performance, the human condition, and looking at it through a science fiction lens of how we may evolve as humans in the future. I feel like storytelling is a really fantastic mechanism for being able to imagine what lifestyles will be like. So I start to think about all of the potential problems that may arise and from the point of view of an artist, how can I interpret those stories and kind of invent solutions, but in, let's say, a fantastical way. So the Future Day Spa is a science fiction take on a spa experience based on a conversation I had with an economist from NASA. And since that moment, I've dedicated my work and art practice to understanding the body beyond the Earth's environment. And the Future Day Spa is one project that looks at preparing the human gene pool for the rigours of weightlessness and how do we, as a human body now, need to change, prepare or evolve if we are going to live for long periods in space. The merging of art and science and that collaboration is the new hybrid and we need the younger generation to kind of get behind that in order to determine where we are going. And what I'm really interested in is can you use the artistic practice and collaborate with scientific experts of the world and really change the way that we are interpreting health and medicine. I think that people want to know as to how technology will integrate with our body and some people are scared of it, they fear it, but I don't see it like that. I'm a true believer in by examining or probing future scenarios, it will benefit health on Earth and we don't have to wait 100 years, we can kind of receive those benefits now.